preserve my house. Uh, I'm just about there. So the Bible declares that the prophet looked at her and say, I promise you, by this time next year, you will have a son. What's interesting to me is that the woman respectfully speaks back to the prophet and say, don't play no games with me. You know, I really wanted a child, but I'm married to an old man. And y'all ain't hearing me. He's good company, but he's no deposits. And so then, when you begin to understand that the miracle is not about her, but the miracle is about him. And surely she got pregnant. And the Bible declares that at the time the man of God said, she brought out a son. And here he is the text the baby lived through being a babe the baby lived through being a suckling the baby lived through asking of bread the baby lived being winged off his mother but there came a day when the baby was grown when the baby could finally work you're not just like the devil that you are poured into something all your life and now when it can finally pay you back it decides it wants to die y'all ain't seeing the text i done nursed you and took care of you and the first day on the field you have a heat stroke so look at the process mm -hmm. the workers take them to the daddy and then the daddy take them to the mama and the mama rocks them until they die and we need to preach to the sisters over here that they say you know what it means to rock a dream till it dies when the man gave up on it you kept saying I'm gonna nurse this thing until it come back to life but oh it died and when it died Y'all don't hear me yet. When it died, I love her process. Y'all don't hear me. Because what happened, the worker took it to the dad. The dad took it to the mom. The mom took it to the prophet. Said, what we gonna do? We ain't calling the funeral home. But I'm gonna put him back in the bed of the man that gave me the word. I told him not to play with my feelings and not be prophesying no baby that I will end up losing. Y'all don't hear me. So here's the text. The text says that I need a servant to get an ass, to get a donkey. Why then do I need a donkey? Because a donkey symbolizes peace, suffering, but it also symbolizes a symbol of the contract. I need the prophet to know that when he see me riding up on a donkey, I came him to remind him his word. I got horses that would have got me here faster, but I didn't use them. I got on a donkey to remind them a covenant had been established. And that's why Jesus said, go find me a donkey and untie them. Because when I ride through the city, I get to let them know I am the fulfillment of the covenant that was spoken that I will come. So the Bible says that the woman reaches the house. I don't want to get in no trouble, but she did ask the husband. I ain't gonna bother that part. And the husband said, go. It ain't no new moon. It ain't no Sabbath. So I don't know how you're gonna find it. But I got something in me that realize I've been required to take this journey. And when the book said, just send out the prophet. Find out what's wrong. Everything all right with your husband. Everything all right with your child. All is well. Would you aim at a neighbor and say, I can't tell you what I left at home on the bed dead. But I want you to know all is well. I can't tell you what's broke up in my life right now. But I'm going to call those things and be known as 
But though they were all in well, and the book said that something happened, she's grabbed onto the prophet, and the prophet said, wait a minute, something ain't right here, something has happened, and the Lord did not reveal it, don't get mad at me now, but I'm here to tell you tonight, there's a season, God not gonna tell your pastor what's going on in your life, because it's a required journey that you gonna have to take, y'all ain't gonna like my preaching, but we've spoiled this generation with prophecies and promises. I wasn't raised on prophecies. I was raised on Friday night. Pastoral teaching. Sit yourself down and get ready to suffer. Because if you cease from sin, you're going to suffer in the flesh. They put something in me that let me know that this is a suffering way and everything ain't gonna go the way you want it but we got folk now that'll leave God and leave church cause somebody didn't speak to them we got folk now that'll leave God cause they lost the call when the old church y'all ain't hearing my preaching my mama and daddy were never married so please forgive me now, I know they was in the church, but they had a situation that wasn't right. So I was with my mom sometimes and with my dad sometimes. Dad had a car. Mom didn't have a car. And mama said, we're going to church. I say, how we getting there? Brother and sister Walker. I say, I don't know them who they are. She said, look at your feet and let's go. Y'all don't hear me yet. That's what's wrong with us. We have no ability to suffer. We have no ability to endure hardness as a good soldier. But surely there's a journey that's required that you ain't gonna dance. There's a journey that's required that you'll be broken in your heart. But you got to know how to say, trouble in my way. Have to cry sometime. So much trouble. Have to cry sometime. I lay awake at night. But that's all right. Jesus. Ah, Jesus. He's going to fix it after a while. And surely the Bible says he sent his staff and he sent his servant and sometimes we got to break protocol and say I don't mean no harm but the servant didn't give me the word you did I need you to wave up to God and say Lord I appreciate every voice in my life but you said my children gonna be saved you said my body gonna be healed you said my church is gonna grow you said the marriage is gonna be saved will you wave at him and say Lord I want to remind you grass wither flowers fade but the word the word of the Lord stand forever you went on in the room I got to go eyes on this watch went in the room y'all don't hear me laid there and the servant knew the process y'all still ain't hear me we need folk with us that know the process nowhere in the text did the servant ask what you want me to do he knew the process he knew the training go up there eye to eye hand to hand mouth to mouth come back to the pastor ain't nothing happened 
He's still dead. All right. It's a case for my heavy anointing. It's a case for double. And the prophet went in and began to remind God his word. Can I help you? God don't like looking bad. I said God don't like looking bad. And sometimes he'll heal you just for his glory. And he'll bring you out so folk can't say he let you die. That's what Moses did. Moses reversed it on God and said, Lord, if you let us die out here in this wilderness, what would they say about you? Ain't anybody here that can say I've been bragging on God and he got to do it because his name is out there. Would you look at a neighbor all the way in the back and say, neighbor, I've been bragging on God. I've been telling co-workers he can do anything. I've been telling family members he can turn it around. He got to do it. His name is on the line. His reputation is on the line. And I'm here to report it's getting ready to happen. I ain't got nobody to go with me. Would you wait? at your neighbor and act like you go to my church and say it's been ready to happen it's getting ready to happen and people don't believe it time you somebody that'll wait back and say it's getting ready to happen i've seen the lightning flash i heard the thunder roar Sin breakers dashing, trying to conquer my soul. But I heard the voice of Jesus telling me to fight on. He promised never to leave me, never to leave me alone. And the prophet said, hand to hand, hand to hand. It's accomplishment, eye to eye, it's vision, mouth to mouth, it's spirit, and I close with this, because get ready, God's getting ready to give strength back to your hand, our leader has given us the thing, the mission made possible, stick your hand up to God, and say strengthen my hand that everything that I touch it works put your hand on your neighbor and say oh neighbor everything we're about to touch it's gonna work
get you a stamp made. RTS. And whenever it look like the church ain't gonna grow, return it to the sender. It ain't your church. It's his church. It look like the brain working. Stamp it. RTS. I ain't fighting with y'all about my vision. I'ma just give y'all back to the returner. You gave them to me. Now I give them back to you. And treat me life. I know we in a beat. But pull on a neighbor and say life is getting ready to come back. In your dreams, in your church, y'all ain't pulling. I said pull on them and tell them the light. Back in you, it was a journey that you were required. But I 